Hey, it is an absolutely beautiful fall day and we are starting another van project. So today's project, we are going to work on framing out the bench seat and pull out pantry that is going to go right here. A few of the things that I'm trying to take into consideration. The first is going to be our upgraded Yeti. Uh, we plan to get the Yeti 3000X here in the future. It is going to be on a drawer slide that we can pull out and come into the middle of this section to be able to push buttons, plug things in, whatever we have to do. So that will be a box there. I'm gonna make a second box here, which will house our fuse box with a pull-up lid up on the top. And then below that is going to be a Wabasto heater. That'll be a process. So look for that video coming out shortly. From there, that cabinet will go as long as it needs to to hit a about 29 and a half to 30 inch cabinet here. That is going to house our Dometic CFX355 fridge. Uh, we don't currently own that yet, but uh, plan to get it soon. Uh, the depth of that is only 18 inches, so my plan is to have the bench come out about 24 inches, uh, so that'll be plenty of space underneath there for the fridge. The height of it is 19 inches, uh, so we have to plan on that 19 inches plus a drawer slide that we're gonna pull out So I'm gonna leave another inch for that. I'm gonna make some measurements. We're gonna see about starting uh, Building out a box with like three cubbies uh, Whether it be three separate boxes that we connect together. Uh, I'm not sure we're gonna see what we can do Well, I have got exactly nowhere on framing um, Just wanted to show you this this was where I was hoping to put the heater. The problem is the fridge needs to have the 30 inches and right where the Wabasto would be is where this bar is. So I've decided I am going to change fridge, electrical, Wabasto on this side. Now I just got to figure out framing on the inside, changing up the, uh, the amount of room that I have for everything. But I think it gives us a lot more room uh, in, in the end. Coming back in the van, um, I found where this bolt hole is underneath the van. That's how I figured out where the placement will be. So that Wabasso will be here. I will have it so that it has enough space behind to hopefully draw in cooler air. But then it should be on the floor here, pumping in the hot air, ducting it into the van right here. For the electrical, that'll just you know move this over to wherever that wall is. I'm thinking it'll be about 16 or 17 inches, basically matching up with the wall there. I don't think I will be able to put this on a pull-out drawer like I originally planned because the AC cords coming from the wall there don't have as much space as they did if it were there. But then this will have enough space to be mounted on the wall behind the unit. And then we'll still have access to this because we'll do a flip up on the bench. Now, I just gotta figure out how we're gonna do this. Okay, <laughs> it's been uh, quite a while uh, working out where the Wobasso heater was gonna go, trying to figure out placement underneath the van. Uh, it's kind of hard because there aren't great landmarks to figure out where everything is. I finally figured out a couple bolts to know on the inside and on the outside what was what. So uh, I think I'm pretty confident to uh, millimeters of where uh, I'm going to be putting it. So now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and cut up some plywood that I have. Originally, I cut a full 4x8 sheet into two halves. Uh, which are, you know, just shy of 24 uh, inches wide. And that is how wide we're gonna have our bench seat. So I am going to use uprights um, out of plywood, basically the same way we did it with our lower kitchen cabinet. And then I'm gonna do some stick framing in between, um, kind of like the, we did with the face frames on that, but a little bit different, I suppose. So I'm gonna cut four uprights, and then we're gonna see about fitting framing members in between and on top. Uh, so we'll show you that as we go. Sweet, got our four uprights. So 
they are 24 inches deep and I think I forgot to say they are 20 inches tall. So my plan is to make framing on the top. I don't plan to have the front framed out in the in the bottom but plan to do the back as well and then on top there will then be a half inch cover uh, that, that you'd be, you know, be sitting on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and figure out the full length to make sure I have boards that cover the full length of the framing and then I will make the inside pieces uh, basically the rails in between. I got all of the uh, pieces back out um, that we had cut for last night so today we're gonna go ahead and pocket hole all the pieces the ones on the side to be able to go into these rails and uh, then the, the ones that will be backer pieces as well. And then I will actually do the uprights as well uh, because they will be going into those cross rails in the middle of them. Um, so I'll do a couple holes, probably three holes across each of the uh, plywood uprights. <music> So just finished with my last upright, doing three pocket holes in across. Um, for the bottom, however, I am going to use that micro jig, the uh, so that I can put a one inch screw into our floor uh, through the bottom of it. I found this worked really well. Our floor isn't that thick, uh, but with our bike tray video and uh, our kitchenette, this is what we use for the floor. It didn't go into the metal, and it just perfectly goes through the floor and holds really firm. So uh, we'll go ahead and use this for the bottom. Laid out all the pieces, we're gonna go ahead and start uh, putting everything together. So basically I'm just making this like a face frame, just like we did for the upper cabinets, for the front of the kitchen, the back of the kitchen. I just decided to do it that way rather than using like two by twos, because I figure they are very rigid. I think they look a lot better than how roughed up two by twos are. They are maybe two to three times as expensive. So uh, keep that in mind if you're you know, going into your build, uh, you can definitely do it cheaper if you uh, prefer. But I figured with paint and stuff, and since these will be visible because I'm going to have lift up, um, a lift up bench seat and stuff, I just wanted it to look pretty. You know, this is gonna be a van that we're using for quite a while. It's not something we're building to sell or anything like that. Just wanted to do it right the first time and, and make things uh, that'll last and uh, that we're excited about. As for laying it out, just so you know when you are doing it yourself, I had this issue uh, in the past uh, with one, one of the videos, if you remember that. Everything is upside down. You wanna make sure that you're doing it, you know, flipped over so you just Picture it like you're flipping it over. All of these whole pocket holes are going to be facing down towards the uprights that they're going to be on. So I am going to start with the right side of the bench on the inside, on the left side. It doesn't really matter too much because I have the same size rails on the outside that I'm using, but it does matter because this front rail, I wanna make sure you know where it is, it looks the best in the way it's viewed. Um, and then as we go, it'll need that 30, inch uh, cabinet here for the fridge. It'll only need the 21 and a half cabinet here uh, for our goal zero, and then that 16 inch cabinet here at the end. So these basically are going to sit right where the uprights are. Uh, so I will measure out and make sure that they are the same on both sides when we get there. Sweet, that frame is done. I opted to not put a center one in here so that we still have access and have a whole open space. If the half inch plywood seems to be bowing or anything when we sit on the bench, uh, then I'll go ahead and add that in the future here. But for now, I think uh, it's a short enough space. We probably won't have any issue there. Got both the outside uprights in, and so I was gonna start on the middle ones. Um, I just wanted to show you the way I decided how I would center it and get it uh, to be where it's supposed to be. I have those backer pieces that I cut to the exact size. I did two for each spot uh, so that I could figure out where they were going to go. So on that side I used a 90 degree clamp and another clamp to clamp it in the corner so that 
that spacing to this board and then one over here, this spacing to that board will be identical. I have the Craig clamp that goes into the pocket screw. So I will go into the pocket hole in the back of this board and make sure that is as tight as it'll go, clamp it down and shoot in uh, those three pocket holes in the back. So it should make it so that it is exactly spaced out and completely square in all sides. And then we'll be able to use these boards wherever we need to for backers. Heck yeah, so all the uprights are on. I decided instead of using these as backers for where they're gonna go into the wall because the wall is curved, um, I am going to be building a back to the bench. Uh, which is going to screw into the frame that will probably be able to get the framing at the top like right below the window where this is very far down from that so I think I'm just going to throw these in at a, you know a couple inches up from the the floor just to have some rigidity because these kind of you know bow out and all that right now so I'll get these in and then um, we'll see about dry fitting it got a sheet of half inch ply on top that's what will be basically the seat um, and it is sturdy it moves just a teeny bit in the middle um, but I am not worried once we have everything in there that uh, it'll be an issue the only other thing is I got to cut some holes for wires to come in as for the bench I think it's a decent size that me Katie and the dogs can probably sit on it uh, you know while we're in here and not have too much worry Next thing I'll have to do is cut those holes uh, for the electrical wires and stuff. Uh, and then from there, we will uh, go ahead and paint. Hope you enjoyed following along as we built out that bench. If you did, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell to be notified as we post new content. We'll see you on the next one.